Manami felt excited while Tsubasa was impressed because they were going to ski. After learning that Tsubasa was afraid because he had never played ski before, Manami decided to tease him. Since she was good at skiing, she also decided to show off in front of Tsubasa. Some other students were already used to the snow, making Tsubasa even more impressed. Tsubasa spoke again, but Menami didn't listen and instead looked at Sayuri. Menami tried to ask, but Sayuri remained silent, surprising Tsubasa. Menami decided not to make a big deal out of it, while Tsubasa felt confused because Sayuri didn't want to talk to Menami. Curious, Tsubasa informed Menami about his intention to become close friends with Sayuri. Tsubasa misunderstood, thinking that Menami only wanted to get close to Sayuri, even though Sayuri never responded to her words. Menami did this because she liked Sayuri's appearance in Aura, which looked very beautiful. She also liked Sayuri's politeness and black hair. Tsubasa pondered Menami's words and immediately looked at Sayuri's body without blinking. And knowing Menami, Menami finally sat back down, Tsubasa stopped talking to her, and he instead looked at Sayuri's face again. At the ski area, people of all ages, from babies to adults, glided with joy. The teacher gave instructions and divided all students into three classes according to their abilities. Since Tsubasa couldn't ski yet, the teacher offered him to join class C and start by taking the cable car before sliding down. As it turned out, Tsubasa wanted to practice walking on flat ground. The teacher finally instructed him to practice with Sayuri, who also couldn't ski. Because he had to teach class C, the teacher advised Tsubasa to be careful and not to push himself. After the teacher left, Tsubasa planned to use this opportunity to talk to Sayuri so that she could help Menami. He approached and spoke, but Sayuri was wearing earphones. Tsubasa thought if Sayuri didn't want to be disturbed, so he decided to stop the plan. He looked at Sayuri's uncovered hair and felt tempted by it. Then, Sayuri started walking slowly and Tsubasa, who saw it, followed behind. Tsubasa felt comfortable after walking a few steps when suddenly Sayuri fell and screamed, making him worried. Sayuri quickly got up with the help of her stick, feeling that skiing lessons were useless. Suddenly, Menami came and jumped, surprising Tsubasa and Sayuri. She also approached and asked for Tsubasa's opinion. Because Tsubasa was captivated, Menami was happy. Suddenly, the teacher scolded her, so she quickly went back up. As Tsubasa's cheeks were red, Sayuri suspected that Tsubasa was dating Menami. Tsubasa denied it, although Sayuri had seen their closeness. Tsubasa tried to deny it again, but Sayuri still thought the same because she saw Menami as a popular girl. She didn't like Menami's attitudes, considering them to beat her shortcomings. Sayuri stopped talking, practiced again, and left Tsubasa alone. A boy seemed to struggle as he was about to slide down. She also felt scared, but suddenly, Menami came and told him to slide together. She intended to accompany the boy because she was a kind girl. The boy felt happy with her assistance. Menami quickly slid down, and the boy followed suit from behind. Afternoon, the teacher apologized for not being able to supervise Tsubasa. Tsubasa didn't mind, and then he asked about lunch. The teacher informed him that the students had already taken a break, and he suggested Tsubasa and Sayuri take a break as well. Since Sayuri had left, Tsubasa followed her onto the bus. Feeling awkward, Tsubasa only grabbed his food and quickly left, leaving Sayuri looking panicked. Tsubasa arrived at the dining area, finding himself alone. When he opened his lunchbox, he realized he forgot his chopsticks. He immediately returned to the bus to get them, but instead saw Sayuri lifting her shirt, surprising both of them. On the cable car, Menami was thinking about Sayuri's class, not realizing Sayuri was with Tsubasa. Sayuri and Tsubasa were both shocked. Tsubasa thought Sayuri was changing her clothes and felt embarrassed for seeing Sayuri's stomach and underwear. He quickly apologized and explained the misunderstanding also mentioning his reason for wanting to retrieve the forgotten chopsticks. Tsubasa intended to grab the chopsticks and leave, but Sayuri remained silent, prompting him to hurry out. 
Sayuri stopped Tsubasa and her face turned red when looking at him. Wanting to discuss something, she urged Tsubasa to eat inside the bus with her. Tsubasa observed Sayuri eating, curious about what she wanted to talk about. He also thought Sayuri might ask him to keep the incident quiet. After finishing the meal, Sayuri immediately drank her drink and expressed her intention. To clarify the earlier misunderstanding to Tsubasa, Sayuri shared that she often sweated a lot. Since childhood, she had never participated in sports because she felt embarrassed about her sweating. Over time, her confidence waned, and she unintentionally distanced herself from friends. She tried to make an effort in skiing, but Tsubasa ended up seeing her in an embarrassing situation. Tsubasa quickly apologized and asked why Sayuri chose to confide in him. It turns out Sayuri felt relieved after sharing that with Tsubasa, who didn't know her too well. She felt they had something in common as transfer students who experienced loneliness. She also thought Tsubasa was a serious person so she could trust him with her secret. Suddenly, a sound came from Sayuri's bag, and Tsubasa saw Sayuri panicking. He told her to check the sound. Sayuri was still a bit flustered, but she eventually checked and found it was a notification. Sound for an update. Tsubasa noticed the tablet Sayuri was holding. Sayuri was playing a game called Shuido, which specifically the fighting game Crash Sisters. Plus. Surprisingly, Tsubasa wasn't familiar with the game. Sayuri got annoyed and told him to give it a try. Tsubasa was puzzled, and even with Sayuri's help, he quickly lost. Sayuri teased Tsubasa and then taught him how to play the game. While explaining, her face got too close, making Tsubasa feel embarrassed. Sayuri misunderstood Tsubasa's expression, thinking he hated her for talking too much. Tsubasa denied it, but Sayuri explained her insecurities. Fearing that her friends would hate and distance themselves from her, that's why she vented her frustration by playing games. Tsubasa denied Sayuri's words again, finding her unique and beautiful. She was glad to have met her and thanked her for talking to him. Sayuri blushed, not expecting Tsubasa to say that. Tsubasa didn't hear her response. Instead, he praised her and asked her to teach the game. Still embarrassed, Sayuri agreed, but with the condition that Tsubasa should address her as master. After agreeing to the condition, Tsubasa watched as Sayuri easily won the game, leaving him impressed. Sayuri mentioned that the game could be mastered with effort. After pondering Sayuri's words, Tsubasa tried playing the game. Sayuri looked at him, and soon Tsubasa felt delighted for winning. Sayuri informed him that the computer opponent was set to easy, disappointing Tsubasa. Realizing they spent quite a long break, they both headed back to practice skiing. Sayuri intended to relax there, so Tsubasa gathered the courage to invite her to slide down from the top because he believed he could do it with effort just like in the game. After the lessons were over, all the students in class ad were free to play. Minami, who was alone, tried to think when suddenly she saw Tsubasa and Sayuri riding the cable car together. Tsubasa and Sayuri felt scared because of the height of the cable car, and Tsubasa also realized how fast the ski area was when viewed from above. Sayuri felt confused because Tsubasa invited her to slide down even though the teacher advised them not to push themselves. Tsubasa stated that he wanted to muster the courage to try new things in Hokkaido. After seeking advice from the teacher, he intended to slide down from an easy spot. Sayuri felt envious of Tsubasa. It turns out Tsubasa gained that courage after meeting Minami, his first friend in Hokkaido, who gave him many beautiful experiences including the skiing lesson. Sayuri suspected that Tsubasa was Minami's boyfriend. Since Tsubasa vehemently denied it, Sayuri started to believe him. She also thought Minami was a good person since Minami had tried to greet her earlier. She regretted ignoring Minami, suspecting that Minami approached her with hidden motives. Tsubasa was about to speak, but Sayuri cut him off because they were almost there. After getting off the cable car, they observed the scenery below. Tsubasa looked at Sayuri and asked her to give Minami a response if he managed to slide down without falling. Despite Sayuri's suspicions about Minami, Tsubasa urged her to accept Minami, who wanted to be closer to her out of sincerity. Sayuri laughed at his words 
and then Tsubasa told her about his intention to become closer to her. Sayuri agreed to the request, but told Tsubasa not to leave her. After that, both of them began sliding down a not-too-steep path. As they slid slowly, Tsubasa remembered the teacher's instructions to lean the body, guide the board to form a V-shape and slide in a zigzag pattern. Sayuri felt delighted as she slid. Tsubasa practiced the teacher's words, and soon he successfully stopped. He was happy but forgot to tell Sayuri how to stop. He tried to explain, but Sayuri couldn't hear his shouts. Tsubasa intended to catch Sayuri, but Minami, who slid from behind. He quickly instructed Sayuri to bring her legs together and tilt her body in a sitting position to stop without pain. She also assured Sayuri not to worry since she had done it many times. After following Minami's guidance, both of them landed safely. Panicking, Tsubasa ran towards them, relieved that Minami and Sayuri were safe. Suddenly, the teacher arrived and scolded Tsubasa and Sayuri. Tsubasa intended to explain it alone as he felt responsible. He apologized profusely, making Minami laugh. Sayuri looked at Minami, sincerely apologized, and Minami accepted the apology immediately. On the way home, Minami looked distressed. Despite being happy to be friends with Sayuri, she felt upset because Sayuri and Tsubasa had become too close, leaving her alone.